Greetings, signs and moons. We're going to go ahead and get into clarifying this energy. If you haven't checked out part one, make sure to do so. A link for that will be in the description box below. Okay, so somebody was not open to something new. This is someone, again, that does not operate out of their heart spaces because they're hurt. They're bitter. So this is also someone that had an opportunity to ascend or change their ways. But because they were so used to dominating people, places, things um, that they didn't feel like they had to. This is someone that may practice in secret, like some form of a cult. Or they were collaborating with people that did so. This could also be someone that comes from a line of sorceress. Okay. They have some sort of spiritual gift. If it's not them, it's their mother. It's somebody in this dynamic um, that was very powerful. Okay. Um, for some of you, this person may be passed over or something is coming to an end. Like somebody is having to atone for the actions that they took. So they were being guided to be open to new possibilities. OK, for some of you, somebody taught someone how to do something. They went to someone for instruction and this person kept doing something over and over and over again. What I'm getting is somebody was trying to fine tune their spiritual ability that they had. Right. The power of influence like um, elements. Again, I picked up the energy of water. So I also picked up um, the energy of fire. So this would be someone that, for instance, maybe um, they, you know, just for example, they could be a water sign. Um, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, and they were with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, just that dynamic together could cause like, it's like a, the energy, the energy of change, um, alchemists and, and things of that sort. So something was manifested here, um, could be tantric involved, but there was the energy of abundance when, when these two people came together or, um, they were they were able to manifest tangible things or you were able to manage tangible um, manifest, excuse me, tangible things. OK, um, we'll give forgiveness here. Somebody was holding on to resentments from the past. Now, that could have something to do with the way that they were raised. OK, Um Why is maiden of air? Now, for some of you, somebody was trying to manifest a new home, a new business. Um, could also be a child. Some sort of structure, some sort of stability here. Okay. This could also be a mother of uh, yours, a child's mother, um, a child's father. So this is a choice that was made. This is something that somebody um, invested in. They they invested in destructiveness, destructive patterns. Okay, this is somebody that became obsessed uh, using lower chakra energy. Okay, um, lust, uh, frivolous connections. OK, um, definitely I'm picking up the energy of tantric practices here. OK, and they built they built something on that. Now, for some of you, this is a this is a past situation because you exit yourself from from this. Whether if you were somebody that was in a long term commitment, a marriage or you are this person's twin or higher level soulmate, could be a friend, a family member of whoever this is as well, because we got so many cards on the table. Somebody was in an unrequited love situation where they gave 
too much and didn't receive anything in return. So it was kind of like they were chasing some like a high or something, right? Three of air. Three of air. This person may, they, something may take place in this person where they have some sort of rush when they um, do this form of alchemy, sorcery, maybe even addiction. They could be addicted to something. And you know, when I talk about this uh, type of stuff, if you are experiencing any mental health issues, any DV, any... Um, bankruptcy or anything like that seek out the proper authorities this reading is for entertainment purposes only i have to play i have to put that disclaimer out there okay this is a whole lot here i i don't i don't believe i've had this many sideways cards but what i can say um what you all shared in common was heartbreak for some of you you had to instill your boundaries uh, or place boundaries uh, with people like this friends families relationships or whatever okay because you were in a situation where you were over giving and you were dealing with people that were taking from you and again that's that opposites attract to learn lessons you attracted this person or they attracted you because there was something that you had and they had, um, you know, that you both or everybody in this situation could benefit from. But because this person was so controlling or you were so controlling, somebody just wanted to just drain someone of their creativity, um, put, the, put them in the poorhouse. Three of air, why is this here? Great, I got two cards. Appreciate. So somebody felt like they weren't appreciated and, you know, self-reflection. So this was uh, somebody that mirrored back to you all the things that you needed to change or all the things that um, you don't want, you know, in uh, in your future in someone okay with all of these uh, lower chakra cards this is somebody that placed a lot of value on outside appearance or lust okay somebody may have also had some sort of health scare where they had to go within get centered focus on their health okay Somebody had to take their power back because they were dealing with somebody that was power hungry. 411 could be significant. 311, 114, 113 for someone. Okay, those numbers are sticking out. But of course, um, we're talking about freedom here. We're talking about stability. Um, somebody was very superficial. Um, somebody's trying to create something. Somebody could be an artist. Somebody could work with their hands. Nonetheless, we got letting go and surrender. And that's what needed to happen. So for some of you, you let go of this connection. Okay. Um, you went on to a new chapter. Okay. You won. You beat out the competition, even if you didn't know you were in competition. And because of that, someone felt like they, you know, could take advantage of you. Okay, so you you did something, you 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 gained something here. You move forward. You spoke a truth. For some of you, you're waiting for something here. Um, and so are they. That's the thing. Why is six of earth? Maybe this person is trying to steal. Um, use your ideas figure out your blueprint or trying to keep themselves intertwined with your energy to slow you down or to gain some form of abundance. And it could be multiple people that is doing that. Or you are doing this. Six of Earth, why is this here? Yeah, I just seen the whispering car. So we're talking about gossiping and despair. And that's on top of the Six of Earth on the fence. 
So we're definitely speaking about an unrequited love, a one-sided situation that has someone in despair. Um, somebody needs to face their fears, okay, or their triggers. Uh, again, this is somebody that wants to blame other people. They don't see no wrong in what they are doing. I feel like you gained some sort of enlightenment about something that was going on in uh, secret here. You started detaching yourself. You no longer found this person attractive. Okay. I'm also getting smothering. Somebody was very smothering. Okay. Um, this, mm, somebody... <laughs> I don't know this this whole maybe I'll I'll get it when I get to um, using my cards. Let's see, element of fire. Why is this here? Abundance and trust. Yeah, trust in reverse. This is this is somebody that's not trustworthy. But I'm getting you don't trust this person. It's it's like when you go around or people go around and maybe their own family. It's, it's like um, they drain you energetically, maybe even financially. It's like uh, they pull you down. <sighs> For somebody, someone may have attempted to do some picture magic. Send out some negative energy. I'm getting to a picture, to a picture. For some of you, somebody may have sent you a picture. You didn't open it or you didn't download it or something like that. Somebody tried to t uh, taint something. Okay. Um, they did something here. Um, possibly tried to block off your... Third eye, first eye, your connection to source. They may have instantly regretted that. I feel like somebody started having headaches or they see someone as a headache. Hold on. Hurry up. Crown of air. Why is this here? Um, if you are in this energy, you know, they're trying to, trying to affect your energy. Just continue to do whatever it is you're doing because obviously it's working. Um... Because we got abundance here and patience. Okay. The ability to endure waiting or delay without becoming annoyed or upset or to, or to persevere calmly when faced with difficulties. The ability to tolerate being hurt, provoked, or annoyed without complaint or loss of temper. Okay, see. <laughs> yeah, somebody just... you know, is. Um, all the attributes that you have, and I'm talking about the person that's enduring this, is something that they lack. Things that would have ticked this person off and obviously have ticked this person off does not affect you. So they're starting to see that um, somebody's starting to see that you're not like this person or they are starting to realize that they can't walk in your energy is what I'm getting. OK. Um, yeah, and they're going to have bitterness and into somebody overindulges in something. And it's like it's making you stronger and making this person's It's like you are mirroring back to them. And I'm, I'm talking about this person that they are doing this to um, everything that they are not. And I feel like that is really uh, pissing someone off here. Okay. Um, this person is constantly, I'm talking about day and night, they're doing some form of sorcery, working with others uh, to do this. And all of these individuals is going to be in this energy of Eight of Swords. Um, it's like you t you're too uh, balanced. For it to stick, even if you get irritated, it's like um, 
It's like something gets lifted off of you. So we got the King of Pentacles. Um, yeah. So this is either somebody's husband, wannabe husband, or this is someone that is codependent. Uh, they they lack responsibility. This is somebody that is not reliable, or this is someone that just stopped. They stopped investing um, in you, in this person, and someone became very jealous. Okay, um, you keep because they're dealing with somebody that's greedy, and uh, for some of you, this could be some your ex. A mature man who is jealous of others' success, lack in principle, and our spiritual growth. If you are a divine masculine, this is maybe her, her sidekick, right-hand man. Could be a family member, somebody that you refuse to work with, or somebody that was a part of trying to block you from moving forward. Okay, this is coming out on the fence. So obviously somebody is reliable and trustworthy. This could be somebody that you are currently investing in, okay? You may be separating yourself from this contract with this person, and uh, you are manifesting something new, if that is the case, okay? Maiden of fire in reverse. Could be a female or male. Somebody wants someone to not be attracted to you or they don't want you to be attracted to this person that you obviously are attracted to. So I don't. It's like these people were a part of this agenda to stop you from getting a new opportunity, a new job, a new home. OK, a new income source. And this went on top of self-reflection. So we have. You are attracted, you are attached to someone with a lot of karmic debt. And this is somebody that obviously has close contact with you. I mean, they may be taking your hair, your nails, your juices, okay? Um, yeah, we're talking about psychological, W-A-R-F-A-R-E. And that has been coming out in just about all the readings. And I've been guided to just use this deck here. OK, this is somebody that you let in your home or, you know, they, they want the blueprint of how you do something. This is also someone that participated or is going to participate in some form of propaganda against you and or this person. It's like somebody like if you hook up with this person. They may try to come and say, oh, well, you did this. You participated in that. Um, underhanded taxes. Okay. What is this? False ideas or statements spread. Yeah. To influence the masses. So somebody does not want someone to get a new opportunity. And if you do get this new opportunity, somebody's going to try to use something against you or this person, uh, even if it's a lie. And for some of you, it, it's going to be a lie. Um, I'm, I, you know, I won't lie. Somebody feels like they have something on you or on this person. Uh, it's like their last ditch effort. Knight of Swords. Why is this here? In reverse. Trust in reverse. Okay, so yeah. So the action that was taken was uh, elemental action where um, it was to keep somebody in a dark place. Okay. Um, Yeah. And here we have it. So we're definitely speaking about somebody that was dealing with um, entities here with the past over. Something was rejected is also what I'm getting. Um, either show me what it is. need to see. Yeah. Um, 
so whatever they petitioned, it, it, it opened up the realm to the dominion angels that restored proper order. Now, this angel could be a guardian angel. It could be a seraphim or some high ranking energy that blocked off something. Um, yeah, I feel like somebody's a shaman. Um or something like that. And, and again, this is something that somebody, a gift that was passed down or somebody was trying to teach someone how to do something. And so this is picking up on that energy um, the reading that I did where it talked about uh, messages from a past over uh, relative here. We got present. You live in the moment and are able to bring forth the energy of love in your current uh, circumstances. Okay. So yeah, loyalty. Um, is strong in this reading. Either you were loyal to a fault or this person was. Somebody could be questioning somebody's loyalty as well. Uh, there was some sort of entrapment here, but definitely an injustice was taken because someone, oh, look at that. Because someone did not want uh, you to move forward. So we got the Dominion Angels protecting someone against some dark energy that was sent or something that was being done in the shadow. Who this is a heavy read. And my son is just back there going. So I know I got to I got to hurry up here. Um, the six of chalices in reverse, but I'm getting nine of cups. So somebody is going to get their wishes fulfilled anyway. Six of chalices in reverse. Why is this here? And my son has not stopped. I mean, I've been doing this reading for almost an hour or two. And ever since I turned on the camera and pulled this energy, he's been back there singing. Um, you know, people in the medical world call it stemming, self-soothing. Okay. Um, we got a con man or a woman. And the action that they were taking, that was took, or, or they're taking here, is going to be rejected. But I feel it was done to cause confusion. To keep an illusion going with the moon card being in reverse. It, it is... It's been stopped or revealed or it will be. There could also be your spiritual team, your guardians. Okay. For some of you, this 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 is like something dark with the shadow card and the dominion angels coming out. Okay. Somebody could be a Sangama where they deal with dark and light. High priest, a high priestess, or something like that here. Or you have somebody in your family or their family that deals with that. Somebody wanted you to continue in this past energy. This may also have been something that you did in a past life. This is somebody that has unrealistic expectations of you or this group here. It could be a couple, but this could be the exes of you and your actual true divine counterpart. I do want to get one for this five of swords. Why is this ten of swords here um, in reverse? Obviously, somebody's getting a new start, right? You're getting a new start. You forgive, you forgave yourself or others, this person. You let go, okay? And so that's why you won. We got a karma can ruin your whole life in law of reflection. As above, so below, as within, so without. This is interesting because that's the name of this deck. But look, we got self-reflection here and law of reflection there. And then the shadow card is sticking out. So somebody knows they're aware or you are aware of this person's um, affluence in your life or influence or their agenda. If this person or you... Um, weren't aware of it when you were in it. Obviously, you weren't because there was a soul tie there and there was also sorcery being done. Um, your person was aware. And that's why they moved on. This was a hidden enemy of your, you and this person. 
and it was multiple people involved or somebody did something multiple times, multiple times. This betrayal um, that was taking place in your life and this person's life happened, you know, could be more than 10 years, 11 years. It, it's been being done for a very long time. Now, if you know this is your situation, some of you, you, or whoever you are, there was the energy of greed that kept you in this situation. It's like somebody has a, what is that, an insatiable appetite for money, power, um, and that was that spiritual W-A-R-F-A-R-E. It was like somebody was in a battle for their soul, for their divinity here. Um, you may feel like something was delayed, but it was like something had to be lifted. Something had to be lifted. And you had multiple people or you were doing this multiple times to someone to cause confusion, to delay something from being lifted. Maybe a veil, a veil being lifted off of someone's eyes here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, there could have also been like a physical transitioning where somebody transitioned possibly to the underworld, okay? Because that's my prisons of the angels. That's one of my um, cards that indicates that there. So we're talking about a fallen angel or somebody that fell from grace. Um, Five of swords, why is this here? It's not the butt bending wheel all over this. Okay, so just clarifying what I said earlier about somebody being frustrated. Because something's coming to an end or you ended something. This person, you know, they lack patience. This is also somebody that was stalking you. They were either pretending to be you or be your person. And somebody's realizing that. Somebody's realizing that. They could also been pretending to be for you, but they were doing things in the shadow to keep you from moving forward. Okay, um, what is this? Nine of Swords. Yeah, because it's time to, to get up out of here. So we're talking about judgment. I mean, it's just clarifying what I already. So this is somebody that was trying to, um, you know, they were a hypocrite. They may have gotten in your ear and said that this person was unethical or something like that, but they were a part of this deception. This is somebody that practices in secret. Got shadow here, shadow there. Um, they were trying to condemn somebody to a negative fate, put them in a negative space here. Uh, they wanted you to be fearful of your calling, fearful of this person. Okay, and so they was kind of like trying to guide you, gatekeep who you go with, because they had an agenda here. Okay, with no choice is perfect. It was like, um, no choice is perfect. But the thing about it is this person was trying to act as if they may have even been sleeping with someone that you were sleeping with. Or whoever this is, they were hypocritical. This is somebody that betrayed you multiple times for whatever reason. And, you know, more than likely it's because somebody wanted you to invest in them. Like all these people were benefiting off this King of Pentacles. But it's like this King of Pentacles started losing their divinity or their ability to manifest because they were going along to get along. It was this time, it was time for this person to walk in their calling here, to manifest something new. Um, you may be doing that in secret. You know, you may be also weighing your options um, of what to do, what to say. Um, you know, this is don't this don't give me. If you're weighing your options to cut off 
these people. I feel like that has already been said, or, you know. Um, well, you may not have said it, but they know that you cut them off. However, if this is you, okay, or if this is your person and you know that this is your person, this person is weighing their options on what to say to you, um, what to implement or something like that. And it's, and it's protected, even though somebody's trying to come up against it, you know, this is like, again, somebody's final ditch effort to betray, betray you, betray this person. But I feel like they are going to end up in conflict. Like all these people are going to end up in conflict because these will be people that are not good. They're not financially responsible. They lack, they lack ethics, integrity, morals. And they're also not protected because this whole time they were manifesting, tearing down someone's structure. And now it's time for them to walk in that energy. It's like they got to pay their dues here. They, they, they have to. They may have felt like they didn't have to because somebody in this situation had, um, you know, th this, is, this is an aspect of the emperor, the king of pentacles. So this person comes with divine protection. And so that's why they tell you, right, you got to go through that period of um, being comfortable with being alone because once you get comfortable with being alone, it starts exposing all the moles in your camp, the, the snakes in the grass. And somebody's upset because something came to an end. But when they attempt to do that, and best believe they're going to attempt to try to send out some propaganda, they, they possibly already did, but they're going to try it again. It's it's going to be your time to speak your truth or whoever this is time to speak their to hurt their horn to speak their truth here because something is already set up in this energy where when when they do it is going to clarify what you already know, what people already know about them. It's like they're going to expose themselves when they make this last ditch effort. And for some of you, it may be something that takes place online. Somebody may try to put out like death. What was that? Some form of propaganda online about someone. Um, because they, they feel like somebody's fearful or they got information on somebody, but they don't. That, and, and that's the thing. It's like their lies, their lies about whoever this is, is going to expose the truth about them some kind of way. And on that note, I'm about to hear deuces.